welcome to my channel I'm Tabby and you know what I woke up this morning and had a really random idea I'm sorry I keep looking down the Sun is so bright it's hurting my eyeballs I have this big tub of decor in my garage and I don't really even know what's in there anymore what I need to do is I need to go through that tub see what I want to sell see what I want to like give away and see what I want to take out and use to freshen up the house a little bit. I wanted to do that with you today and I thought that would be fun because one of the best, I love how like as soon as I turn this on, the bugs are so loud. There's an airplane. <laughs> the sun is so bright. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful outside. And then I get out here and I'm like, this is a horrible idea. But I wanted to do this with you because this is what I do. I shop my home. It's I love to go to Hobby Lobby. I love to go to Home Goods. I love to go to all these places, but like it's not realistic all the time, especially with how things are today. You know what I mean? Do y'all hear that like loud beeping noise? Is that just my ears? Gosh, I should have found somewhere else to record this. And here's how I know how it works because sometimes I will move something around or I'll take something out of the closet or something that I haven't used in a while and I'll put it up and my husband will go, oh, that's nice. When'd you get that? And I'm like, four Christmases ago. So I'm not going to the store today. I am going to go to my garage and I'm going to shop my home. And maybe we can freshen up the shelves a little bit. I have kept the shelves in the living room like the same for so long. And so maybe we can find like, I don't know, something different to do in there just by using what we got. And maybe we can figure out what we don't want and possibly sell it on Facebook Marketplace or something and get a little bit of cash and then go get something new. That's how I do it around here. Okay, I decided to stay outside, you know, against my better judgment. <laughs> Let's go through my tub. It's a lot. <laughs> this isn't really supposed to be in here because I have a whole tub dedicated to greenery, like through the seasons. But I really do like this greenery. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a fern or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a gardening plant person but I will say that it does look pretty realistic so we definitely could switch out some greenery I do like some bright looking happy greenery for summertime I'm sure my neighbors think I'm weird but anyway oh this this is such a good little piece I got this um, on orange tag clearance man a while back and I just loved the shape of it it looked very trendy it looked like something that I would see people decorate with nowadays I will say that I am the type of person that likes to be sort of on trend but do my own things still I also have this brick mold that my friend Mandy got for me and I've I just have never found a really good way to decorate with this. I need to look up on Pinterest some ideas and maybe we can incorporate it somehow today but I do love just the rustic feel of this piece. I'm only gonna be pulling out stuff that we can possibly use I guess. I've got a cutting board, we've got a scale, so I have that, I have this painting that's really pretty. I have this painting that I used for a while in the kitchen. Then I switched that out for summertime. If you haven't seen that video, I decorate with lemons all in my kitchen. I have this. Now, you guys, I don't know how I feel about this. Look, it was on sale, so I bought it. But like for what? What was I thinking when I bought this? I'm not sure, like it looks like, like it could be an instrument or something else. I don't know if I could say it here on the YouTubes. 
I think this is going to be one of the things that I give away, unless you talk me out of it. So if you think I should keep this, <laughs> let me know down below. Oh my gosh, I have the most beautiful, there are some glass pieces in here, so I'm trying to be careful. Um, so here is the bottom, right? But then, look at this. Oh gosh, I hope it's not broken. See the top? But look how pretty this is. This is just so pretty. This is huge cloche and I haven't used it in a long time so maybe we can use that maybe put some candles in it or something I don't know y'all look at this I do I just love carbs and if you love carbs then we can be besties I have held on to this sign for a long time I, I don't really use signs like that anymore but I just didn't have the heart to get rid of this one. I love the font. I love the simplicity of the flaunt. The flaunt. <laughs> I love the simplicity of the font. And I just think that it's super cute. And I don't know. I might use it one day. I don't know. See, that's my problem. I'm a hoarder. What can I say? I have this. And I have used it on my porch a bunch. I used it on my porch for fall and for Christmas. And... I keep contemplating on, you know, whether or not I should let it go, give it away, but um, it's really cute on the porch with like, like a mini Christmas tree in it. I'm not gonna get, a, get rid of anything, am I? Um, these apothecary jars. I had one in the middle of these two in size, but it broke. I was super bummed about that. I have a riser in here that we could use somehow. I have this little wooden bowl. Now that we have gone through this tub, let's see if there's some things we can switch around. And if I come across any other goodies that I have hidden away, stored away somewhere, I will show it to you, especially if I style with it. So let's see what we can do today. All right, y'all, starting here in my living room, these are the shelves that I wanted to work on today, and I love the way that this turned out. I decided to do some layering with some pictures of my precious babies, also with some different textures, some old books, some new books, and of course, that art piece that we found in the tub. I was going back and forth. I didn't know if I should do the greenery or this floral arrangement. I love these flowers from Hobby Lobby. They're so spriggy and like natural looking, but I did settle on the greenery that we got from the tub outside as well as that vase that we found. Here is that vase that I was unsure about styled with some flowers and a candle on my dining room table. You guys have to let me know, do you like this or should I go ahead and get rid of it? I don't know how I feel about it. Here is that beautiful cloche that I found in the tub. I don't know why I haven't pulled this out sooner to use. It's just been neglected collecting dust, but now it is here on the entryway table. I did decide to eventually move it to the mantle, and I love how cozy it is, especially at night. Remember how I told you earlier that I'm not a gardening person or a plant person? I definitely am not, they all die. So I have a faux garden here on my front porch with this old ladder and I decided to include that container that I use for fall and Christmas. And with everything being moved around um, in the house, especially on the mantle, I did put that gold tray on the bottom with the flowers and salt and pepper shaker. Let me know what you think of that. I ended up not using these ideas on the counter, but I did want to put together these vignettes for you guys using stuff that I found outside. I love these lemons in this apothecary jar. I think that lemons for summer especially just add a brightness and freshness to your space, and they're super easy and affordable to buy, fresh or faux. 
And here is what I decided to do with the brick mold. It is now our toilet paper holder in the bathroom and I freshened up the shelves as well in here with some decor. What do you think? I have spent all afternoon moving stuff around, putting pieces of decor in new places and making them look brand new. Also, I have had fun just showing you different ways to use these items if you have similar ones at home. I'm here just to encourage you that you don't always have to go out and spend money to refresh your space. I love the way my shelves turned out. They look completely different than they did before and I spent zero dollars. Even if you don't have a big old tub of decor like I do, you could just go into another room take decor out from there and switch it out with another room. So if you're bored of what you got, this is the perfect way to refresh your decor without having to spend any money. Well, that's all I got for you today. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and let me know what your favorite space was that I decorated today. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.